Okay, I'm rolling. I'm good. Hey everyone, welcome to another Ramblin' episode with me, Gildam, here to talk about thoughts, ideas, and whatever else is on my mind. I actually have an intro. Uh, it just kind of happened over the course of doing these things, so now I actually have an intro. And uh, man, let me tell you, that's a self-accomplishment. It's a self-goal. I wanted to get something going for this because, uh, I don't know, eventually I wanted to just kind of be like, I, I need to figure out how to introduce these parts. I'm not sure how. So, I did it. And uh, I'm, I'm proud of myself. <laughs> that said, uh, this, this is a very weird time to actually record. You see, it's Saturday morning. I just got off of work. I just got out of the shower because uh, I was a dirty boy and I needed to clean myself. Uh, that might be a little too much information, a little TMI for you guys, but uh, the reason I'm saying this is simply because, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's a very weird time to record. I usually don't record after work, and uh, I, maybe I should because... Technically, I'm already awake. I'm not trying to readjust myself after having gone up, gone to the garden, do what I normally do, and all that stuff. But it is what it is. I don't know. You know, several years here on the YouTubes, you figure I would have gotten something pretty stable by now. But lo and behold, I'm still discovering things. Uh, also, it's a little awkward to kind of just record right after work because... Uh, you know, my grandparents, they're, they're kind of still asleep, although, uh, technically my grandpa's up now, uh, he's, he's doing his thing, his morning routine, I didn't wake him up, this isn't me waking him up, he, he was already up. I was just doing my normal thing, uh, also he's partially deaf, so, uh, I, I don't know if it would, it would be too much of an issue, um, maybe more so for my grandma, but, uh, it's, it's getting to about the time when they both wake up, so, I think I'm pretty good for the time being. All this said, uh, yeah, I'm recording at a very awkward situation, but it's probably very beneficial for you guys. Uh, also, I wanted to mix things up a little bit. I'm also pretty hungry because I haven't eaten dinner yet, but, you know, I digress. I'm working for my dinner. That's, uh, that's what I told myself going into this. Uh, but, yeah, I'm, I'm going to mix things up. I tried this a little bit earlier uh, yesterday in the day portion when I was still trying to readjust like to everything going on it didn't work out too well I had a bunch of fell recordings uh, over a period of several hours I know at a certain point you figure Gildan why don't you just take a break and just do something else and readjust yourself I don't know I'm stubborn man I, sometimes when I get on the mic and I start trying to do the whole vocalization and the commentary and what have you sometimes I just like to keep things going keep things going a little smooth uh, because you know sometimes I get to enact I get into that flow where it's like I'm able to actually articulate my thoughts and speak as I go it doesn't always work I, I find as I wake up it's a little it, it's a little forced and it can be a little difficult because you know it's like my mind's trying to keep up to my words but it doesn't work out so I, I disconnect a lot and then uh, randomly I'll lose track of what I was saying and so then the conversation gets thrown out the window, and it's complete garbage, and I get upset, and then I delete the whole commentary track. Uh, it, it, it can be difficult uh, working with myself, because I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, I guess is what I'm saying. Uh, th this, is, this is a little bit of me going deep, by the way. I should probably mention that. But, you know, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good right now. I'm, I'm feeling a little more confident in how things are going. And also, I wanted to try to mix things up just a smidge, just a little bit. Because, I, I don't know, I, I want to get deep. Uh, I want I want to kind of, like, open up a little bit as a commentator, YouTuber, as the person behind all this that you're hearing, all this that you're seeing. You know, I got the channel icon and everything. You know, I kind of I kind of want to open up a little bit. Because usually when I do these things, yeah, I'm talking about things. And yeah, it's a little bit of a podcast, so you know, you're getting a little bit of an update to my current events and everything that I got going on. But it's pretty lighthearted, and you know what? This is a chance for me to actually be very open about si the situation at hand. Very, I don't know, counselor-like uh, in a therapeutic sense where I can just kind of discuss things. Granted, 
it could be very dangerous for me to do this considering it is me just pouring my heart out making myself super vulnerable to anybody here on the internet where they'd have access to that and thus they could use that against me but it, I don't know, I just, I, I kind of want to open up a little bit. Also, because I doubt anyone's going to hear about this kind of stuff. Uh, I, I could be wrong. Someone might be out there, like, lurking and praying, but at the same time, uh, I, I like to think whatever I share, it's also a good chance for everyone to kind of relate and discuss their own thoughts, and maybe, you know, they have, they've been in a similar situation, or they have something that they'd like to add to, you know, my own situation, or even maybe they got some advice for what I got. And also, you know, you can add your two cents if you want. That that's fine. Uh, since it is kind of out there in the open, you know, everyone everyone has an opinion. Everyone is entitled to it, and that that's fine. So hopefully, in the latter half of this, I'll I'll get into attempting to be a little more deeper in and stuff. Uh, I have to I have to like just conclude it as stuff because I can't think of a better terminology. So, I'll just leave it at that. Otherwise, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to try to ease myself into this. Try to give the whole lighthearted bit that I usually do when I go about doing these little rambling vids. So, that said, I do have some pretty interesting stuff going on. For instance, there's this new movie co coming out. Uh, in fact, it came out yesterday. And by yesterday, I mean Friday. Because you're hearing this on Saturday, September 10th. Which is kind of cool. Oh, I have something else to say about that. But, you know, I'll get into that in a second. Because, you know, i got to focus on on today, Saturday, which was yesterday. Uh, so there's this movie, and it's called It. It's a remake of the Scary Clown movie by uh, that was made a while ago, which was based on a book or a short. Uh, it was, I don't know. Point is, yeah, book. Uh, Stephen King, It, Clown. Uh, scary movie, uh, Alien Spiders or something like that. I don't really know. Uh, I know Tim Curry was in it, and uh, I never saw it. Oddly enough, you figure it'd be up my alley, you know? You think I'd be all into that, but yeah, I never really saw it. But they decided to remake it, and now it's a, it's a movie. There's been some trailers, and it looks pretty dope. It looks kind of scary. I'm kind of into it. Uh, I kind of want to see the original, but I digress. Point is, I've never really had a fear of clowns. You know, I think clowns are funny. I think they're they're kind of awesome. Uh, and also, you know, a little terrifying because, you know, it, it kind of gets into the dull territory of Uncanny Valley. And, uh, you know, something that is technically innocent also has, like, this creepy factor to it. So, uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is clowns can be a little bit uh, horrific in the right light, and it did not help. And by it, you know, the the clown it. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to see that tonight. And by tonight, I do mean yesterday. But going along with tonight, uh, Saturday, I uh, originally I was, like, uh, talking with Spider Mikey, who... Uh, Who's been on the channel, you know he does some things here and there, and he has his own channel. And I'm going to put a card right here, so you guys can go check that out if you want. Go to his channel, go check him out. Uh, we did some we did some games together, we did Rampage. I digress, point is, I was talking, we were talking, he was like bringing up the fact that they had this remake in the works, and uh, it was coming out later this year, and lo and behold, it is later this year, and uh, he was like, yo, you want to go check that out when it, co when it comes out, and I was like, yeah, sure, I'd be down for that, and so uh, we've been like connecting and talking and being like, yo, are we going to do that, and so tonight is the night we're going to go do that, and then I talked to my sis, the one that I was uh, doing the evil within and so you know i was telling her yo uh it is coming out and i'm planning to go watch it with spider mikey because uh you know she knows spider mikey and she was like oh you you are i i totally want to go because uh she also has a thing for like scary spooky movies and so uh, yeah, we're, we're totally planning on, like, going to see that, and she kind of got roped into it, 
Uh, granted, she she wants to go see it, so it's, it's kind of cool. But apparently, she has the fear clown, so uh, it it should be interesting. Hopefully, we get a very interactive crowd because uh, that happened when I watched Paranormal Activity with her in the movie theaters. Uh, we we saw it together, me and my sis. We saw it together, uh, and so yeah, we're looking forward to. It. And then I was talking to my other friend, and it turns out that. He, he is kind of also interested in going to watch it. So it turns out I got three other people going with me to go see it. And that's pretty legit. Uh, but it doesn't stop there because uh, tonight, recently, at work, I mentioned it to a co-worker. And it turns out that they also are kind of interested in going to see it. And uh, they asked if they could tag along. So yeah, I got four people roped into going to see this movie with me. And so it's super legit, super awesome, and uh, oh man, am I glad it is the weekend. <laughs> that is my follow-up to just going to go see it with uh, a group of people, a group of friends. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm glad it's the weekend. Work was crazy uh, tonight. And by tonight, I mean obviously this morning, because I work nights, so uh, you know, when I get off, it's tomorrow morning. But yeah, it was it was pretty crazy. It was a lot longer than anticipated. So it just kind of went on and on. And I mean, like, I guess a lot of people could relate to that in their own job. You know, it's it's just the day that never ends. And it goes on and on, my friend. So yeah, it, it finally ended. And I was like, oh man, I'm going to enjoy my weekend by just, just chilling and relaxing. And I am tired because... Uh, Man, when I went to work today, I was all jacked up on energy drinks for um, doing some failed recordings of this. Lo and behold, yeah, I was jacked up on energy drinks, and because I failed, I had a lot of aggression. So I was like, I'm going to work through tonight. I'm going to work through my aggression. I'm going to feel better when I get out. And actually, I was just exhausted when I got out. So uh, th there you go. Me all tired. Here I am going for round two on the mic and you guys listening to it and you know it is what it is uh i might have to go check out my garden now that i think about it because it's it's getting pretty early and uh, i'm fine with that do a little bit of watering like wrap up the night sometimes i do that if i end up staying up late but I'm fine with it. My garden's doing pretty good. I actually have pictures. I actually want to share with you guys some pictures that I got going on. And I think that's pretty alright if you ask me. And you didn't. So I'm going to share a little bit. I got two pictures in particular that I do want to share. One is I got a pepper. I got a pepper growing. And uh, I don't think that was something that I've actually shown I mean, I have shown my pepper plant, but I don't think I've actually shown that I actually have some fruit. Uh, I don't know why I'm saying actually a lot, but yeah, I got, I got, I got a pepper. I got a pepper, which I think is a fruit. I, I don't know. The whole classification of a fruit and a vegetable is a little confusing. I heard that, like a fruit is, it's like, I, I, I probably should try to avoid using like a lot. I don't know. I'm stuttering trying to articulate my thoughts so bear with me i heard a fruit like it, it's something that develops from a flower like the base of the flower and it has seeds inside of it uh oh man you know what would be good if i could oh that's right my phone's almost dead never mind i was gonna look this up on my phone but uh it, it's charging and apparently i have a, a pretty shitty uh cord because every time I try to use it while it's charging, it says, oh, it's a weak charge or weak charge detected. Uh, the battery drains faster, even though it's technically charging, what have you. You know, it, it, I guess that's irrelevant. No one really cares. I don't need to complain about it. Point is, um, I, I got a pepper. That's really all I'm trying to say. I'm going to move on with this whole thing. I got a pepper, and that's pretty exciting. Uh, here's a picture of that. There you go. I don't know if you can really see the size and, uh, in great detail, but that said, it's pretty good size. It's a lot bigger than I anticipated. Uh, the packet the packet of seeds doesn't really specify because I guess it's a, it's a 
it's like one of two things. It's either a banana pepper or it's a red bullhorn pepper. But both are, I guess, sweet peppers. And with a name like red bullhorn pepper, I wouldn't think so. You know, it sounds like a chili pepper. But I digress. Uh, it, it can only be one of two colors, apparently. And that's red, like a, a vibrant red, or a light yellowish green color. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure the light yellowish green color is more of a that that's a pretty strong indication that it's a banana pepper But if it's red, uh, I guess technically it could also be a banana pepper But I'm pretty sure it's more likely. It's gonna be a red bullhorn pepper and likewise I, I think banana peppers are a bit smaller than red bullhorn peppers and as far as I know based on the Google search that I did uh, it seems like red bullhorn peppers get pretty big and this pepper is pretty big so it's it seems to be that I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what the plant is it's a red bullhorn pepper it's a red bullhorn pepper plant that that is a weird way to say that I don't know it's a little bit of a tongue twister there uh, I, I digress that's not the point point is I got some other peppers developing but they're pretty small so I don't think you can really see the details in the picture so it is what it is but my point is uh, yeah I got, I got a pepper plant and that's looking pretty good uh, the other thing I wanted to say the other thing I wanted to show is my tomatoes I got some tomatoes going and uh, some cherry tomatoes apparently uh, this isn't anything new I have shown these off but the thing that signifies them being shown off this time in this video is that they actually have some color and that's pretty legit because for the longest time they just kind of have been developing and they've been green and you know that's all right and all but it's like I can't really harvest or do anything with this they just kind of take up the plants nutrients and the plant just kind of focuses on just developing these things so uh, finally I got some tomatoes in the works and in a couple days hopefully Hopefully, I have to say hopefully, it could be a couple weeks bit at this rate. I will be able to pick them. And my plan for both the pepper and the tomatoes, I'm going to make an omelet. Based on the fact that my mom actually has chickens, so I get fresh eggs. Yeah, I'm going to make myself an omelet with homegrown ingredients and fresh ingredients. And uh, also, I'll probably get some bacon and some scallions and add that to it. Uh, maybe I'll even add some basil to it. That really sounds good. Uh, also, I got some basil going. In fact, I decided to test my hand at cloning a little bit. This isn't the first time I've done cloning. I actually cloned a pepper, not a pepper plant, I cloned a tomato plant, one of my grandma's cherry tomatoes. Uh, I was able to successfully clone it. It took a while. It took, it takes a lot of patience, especially when you're not using any sort of rooting gel. Because, I mean, supposedly, at, at least my hypothesis is that uh, while it isn't necessary, it does speed up the process of everything. And so... The idea behind, you know, getting some rooting gel is that you, you dip the thing that you're trying to clone and then it takes root a lot quicker than it would without it. And, you know, that's all fine and dandy, but I don't really use it because I don't think it's necessary in the slightest. It's just a way to speed things along if you're impatient. And personally, as someone who's getting into gardening, I find patience is a necessity, if you will. You gotta have a lot of it. You also gotta have a lot of love. Because no matter how you look at it, one way or another, you're gonna need it. Because, <laughs> you know, growing plants, it takes some time. It takes a lot of dedication. Or at least that's what I'm kind of learning as I'm going about it. And, you know, next year, there's, it's only gonna go up exponentially. Uh, actually, my grandparents said... So we got, like, this side lawn that we don't really do anything with. And my grandparents were just like, Yo, you wanna use it for gardening purposes? Go for it. Just go wild. It doesn't even matter. So next year, I'm thinking about getting some gardening boxes and going to town. Uh, plant some pumpkins. Plant some watermelons. Probably do a bunch of tomatoes. Some corn. Uh, more peppers. Try to see if I can get both banana and some more red bullhorn peppers stuff like that some cilantro uh by the way i've been learning something from cilantro and that's the fact that well you can let it like grow and go to see like go to flower and thus seed 
because that's kind of the whole reproduction cycle of cilantro. That's the whole life cycle, really, from what I'm learning. Uh, the thing about it, if you're growing it for har like to harvest and cook with, because you know cilantro is pretty delicious. Personally, I find a lot of uses for it via cooking. Uh, but once it starts flowering, it's kind of a death sentence. You kind of have to like like pull the plug and just uproot it because it's not going to quit trying to do that it's just that's going to be like its next focus just like trying to trying to flower so from what i understand you get you get some cilantro and it starts flowering that that's it unless you want seeds it's time to like plant a new cilantro plant it's trying it's trying to re it's time to replant that's uh that's what i learned that's what i learned pretty recently so there's a that and that that's pretty much a lot of my gardening expertise as of now other than I got four new basil clones that I'm attempting and uh, I'm not sure if there are if they've taken root yet but they haven't died and it's been about a week so I can only hope and pray that things are going uh, gonna go my way yeah that's uh, that's really all I can say uh oh yeah and i got i got a geranium uh here, here's a small picture of that next to my lettuce that has bolted uh, a little bit of a size comparison my friend gave me that uh because they're getting into they're getting into gardening pretty heavily so next year we're gonna do a little bit of a flower exchange a little bit of a plant exchange he's gonna give me some of his stuff and i'm gonna give him some of my stuff uh, but I am cloning one of the, my blatant, the, 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 a little tongue tied right now. I am cloning one of these basil plants for him. The others I'm giving to my mom. It's the least I could do for the fact that she give me, she gives me eggs, fresh eggs, uh, from chickens. That's delicious. Again, gonna make that omelet. It's gonna be fantastic. Okay, so I'm resuming the video. I just had to cut it real quick. Y'all see, I started losing my concentration I had to regain my focus so uh, yeah I think it's important especially when I'm trying to do what I said at the beginning of the video which was you know get a little bit deeper get get a little more meaning out of these uh, these rambling videos because you know it's like sometimes I gotta get a little personal at least that's what I feel I, I, I want to get a little personal it might be a little awkward and uh, it, it might be a mistake but at the same time uh, definitely the part where I'm, I must say, if if you don't mind, because things are gonna get pretty cringeworthy, and I'm probably gonna stutter a little bit. I tend to get a bit nervous when trying to go into a more inner, in-depth analysis of my own self. Uh, it, it can be a little messy. I feel like I'm not the only one here. You know, I feel like this can be applicable to a lot of people. And that's why I think it's a very good thing to do sometimes. Not all the time, just sometimes. And that's why I think it, it's it's a good time to try and attempt it. That said, because I do feel like it's going to get pretty cringeworthy and uh, a little unnecessary. And, you know, I, I feel like it's going to be pretty embarrassing, especially from my own, like, perspective. It's probably going to get super embarrassing. Um... You guys out there, feel free to like, feel free to like click on something else, click another video, I don't know, go back to your YouTube homepage and go check out what's in your recommended. That's pretty alright if you ask me. I'm not going to judge you too harshly. Nah, honestly, you, you guys are fine. Thank you for sticking around. That's, that's perfect. Uh, anyways, but if you are going to stick around, you know, I, I thank you all the same. If you have any advice for what I'm about to say, feel free to, like, put in the comment section or something and just, like, yeah, maybe I, I'd, I'd appreciate some advice. Because, you know, I'm, I'm a stutter a lot. <laughs> but I, I guess a good starting point for when you want to talk about yourself is why do you feel like it's necessary? And I mean, like, I feel like it's necessary because, uh, I don't know. To a certain extent, I want to be okay talking about this. And it's not really easy. It might be partially because when you start trying to talk about a lot of the more rougher stuff, it's just, it doesn't come out a lot clearer than you want it to. Uh, it, it shouldn't be too difficult. I mean, I feel like when I talk about it with certain people, it's not 
too hard to like bring it up go into details talk about it and then like move on with your life but you know the odd thing is here it's it, it it's almost like it should be even more like easy to do just because the only thing that i got going on here is like me talking to myself uh and i guess there's the mic here which records everything and you figure that's not really that big of a deal right i mean granted yeah it gets recorded and i can put that into the video and then it gets uploaded to youtube and everyone else can hear about it but the truth is you know i'm i'm really just speaking to myself i'm really just having a conversation with myself so it's not that big of a deal i i don't know so it, it's just one of those things where it's like yeah, talking with myself, not too much of an issue. I mean, I do it all the time. I'm doing it right now. And that's kind of cool. But that's not really what I'm getting at, you see. I have no problems when it comes to that kind of stuff. Uh, this, is just the be this is just the starting point, you see. Where I'm having problems is, is actually going to a lot more of the in-depth stuff outside of this. Like, for instance, today I wanted to talk about matters of the heart, love, and romance. It's not an easy topic to bring up, and it's not an easy topic for me to discuss very openly. You figure, since it's with myself, obviously I know about it, but you, the viewers, don't. So I have to actually go step by step. Of course, me trying to do that, not the easiest thing to do. And the reason why I want to talk about it is uh, a little context I have a coworker who's kind of been dealing with a little bit of a breakup, and so it's like, it's something that I've been talking, uh, he's been telling me about, and you know, I've been, we've been discussing it, and uh, I'm not saying like I can help him with it, because I, I think he has a pretty good mindset with it, uh, but something super relatable is the fact that he actually had to end the relationship, and you know what, I understand that, I, like my, uh, my first girlfriend that I, I dated, I had to do that, and it, it was, it wasn't as messy as I thought it was going to be, but the whole relationship was pretty bad and unhealthy. Uh, I would go into more details, but it's not really something that I should probably do, at least not until I can articulate my thoughts a bit better, so I don't know. If I was in the mood to do so, I probably would, but eh, I'm not, I'm not feeling it. <laughs> I don't think this is really the right light to portray what I'm trying to say. So I'm uh I'm a I'm a chill. The real thing that I'm getting at is, you know, it's it's things like that that I can't really discuss very freely, and that sucks. And that's something I really want to work on, and that's something I would really like a lot of advice if anyone could give me any. Uh, I like to think that maybe one aspect is you just have to not give a fuck. And I think you know, that, that is, there's a lot of truth to that. There's a lot of, you know, valuable information when it comes to actually going about it. You know, you just can't really care. Because life is what it is. And you only live once, as that saying went back in the day, uh, like a year ago or something. Uh, you know, it's, you can't think too hard on it. But I guess the other thing is, uh, I, I don't know. How do I articulate my thoughts to a way that I'm really capable of actually discussing what I want to discuss in a manner that I'm comfortable with? And I guess the truth is, you have to be okay with it. You have to be comfortable speaking about it with yourself. And you know what? I am, but how do I, how do I explain it in a way that I'm okay discussing it with myself? That sounds very weird to say, but I gotta think about it. And then you guys will be able to listen to it. And that that'll be like I don't know. I feel like that'll be like that'll be like finding finding the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. That that's really all I have to say about that. Uh other than that, you know, it's like I don't know. I have a little bit of work to do. I guess is what I'm getting at. And once I can figure it out like, I guess I'll be able to articulate my thoughts a bit better. I don't know. I think part of what I'm getting at is I'm, I'm really tired. Maybe having done this at the end of the day was not a good thing to do. Because now I'm getting kind of sleepy. Oh, man. I, I probably should go to bed pretty soon. But until then, I don't know. I, I got some dinner I gotta eat.
Uh, just trying to, just trying to think. I, I guess technically I should close the video, but I really don't want to. Uh, no, I, I gotta, I gotta give a proper, like, closing, don't I? Okay, so, I think what I've learned today in a short period of trying to go in depth is that there are certain topics I can try to talk about and certain, certain things that are hard for me to discuss. Uh, and you know, I, I do want to get to them eventually and I do want to talk about them. It's just not something I can easily do. Uh, I, I do think part of it is being an introvert. I, I'd be lying if I said that, you know, that. That doesn't attribute to it, but I'd be lying, but I feel like it's not everything to that, you know? I feel like, while I can blame myself for being an introvert, and that's why I have a lot of trouble actually speaking my mind in such a way that is very clear. I, I feel like there's more to it, you know? It's like, I, got I, gotta I gotta train my brain to actually be able to say the things that I want to say. You know, speak very openly on the mic, in other words. It's not something I can just do. Uh, you figure I'd, I'd have it by now, but no, I don't. I gotta change my mindset. I think really, as I said, I just gotta learn not to give a fuck when I'm here on the mic, you know? I gotta just, like, think about it. Okay, Gildum, you're speaking to Gildum. Entertain Gildum. And you know what? For all intents and purposes, you are now Gildum. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you're, you're, you're not Gildum, but I think I have to think of it like that. I think that, that's what I'm going to do next time. Just just be like, okay, Gildum, talk to Gildum. It's fine. Gildum will understand, even though Gildum won't. He never understands. That guy is stupid. Oh, man. Uh, this has all been a mess. You know, that's why I had to say things were going to get pretty cringeworthy. So, uh... You know, bear with it. But yeah, I don't know. At a certain point, I would really like to discuss, like, all the matters of that happen. You know, when it comes to matters of the heart, my luck seems to go from bad to worse. And there's a reason for it. But at the same time, I can't just, like, go into straight, like, straight bombshell. Uh, here's everything that happened. Um, and yeah, that's what I had to deal with. I want to, but I don't know. I feel like I have to... You know, I feel like there has to be some build-up to it, so you guys understand. Or that that's what I feel. I could have it backwards. I don't know. Again, if anyone wants to give me advice to it, I'd be more than willing to listen. There was a songbird just there. Distracted me from everything I had to say. Uh, anyways, I'm hungry. I'ma go eat. So I'ma see you guys later.